In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can create a group policy object and configure group policy object settings. So what I've done here is I've just logged into my server. I'm going to come up to Tools and Server Manager, and the next thing I'm going to do here is just launch the Group Policy Management Utility. And the next thing we're going to do here is just create a group policy. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come to Forest the Datum, into our domains, find the datum, maximize the datum, and what we're going to do here is we're just looking for the Group Policy Objects folder. Once we find the Group Policy Objects folder, what we're going to do here is we're going to right click and we're now going to create a new group policy. What I'm going to do with this group policy here, I'm going to call it Desktop. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use it for, as its name suggests, to tie down the desktop. Now, I don't have any starter GPOs that I want to utilize at this point. A starter GPO is really just a template, so we'll select OK. Once we then create our group policy object, the next thing we need to do is we need to edit the group policy object and give it some settings. Really what we're doing here is we're manipulating the registry. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come down and we're going to go to, uh, to start with our computer config policies. Now these apply to anybody that logs into the machine that the group policy is applied to. So we'll go to policies and then within policies we're going to look for Windows settings. Then within Windows settings we want security settings. And then within our security settings, what we're looking for here is we're looking for local policies. And then we're looking for our security options. So as you can see, there's quite a few of these security options in place here. The one that I want to modify is I want to modify my interactive logon do not display last user logon name. The nice thing about these is they're all alphabetical. So what we've got here is we've got our various policies in place. So what I'm going to do here is just go for the interactive logon do not display last user logon name. We're going to define this and we're going to enable this policy. Then we'll select OK. Let's scroll down a little bit as well and let's just go for our system services. Uh, we'll just have a look all the way down at the bottom here and we'll just look for our Windows installer service. So here we go. And uh, what we'll do here is we'll just launch this up, we'll define this policy. And what we'll do is we'll actually disable this service. So we'll select OK at this point here. We can also affect what users can do. So let's just go to our users policies. And on our users policies here, let's go for admin templates. And under admin templates, we're going to look for start menu and taskbar. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to remove, let's remove the search link from the start menu. So again, we'll just double click. We'll enable this and then we'll just select OK. And finally, let's just go to the control panel settings. So we'll go to control panel and within control panel here, let's go for display. So we'll highlight up and go for display. And then within display here, let's hide the settings tab. So we'll enable this and select OK. Now we've done that, we can close down the group policy management editor. So what we've now done is we've now created a policy. We haven't linked it to anything yet, but we have put in some user and computer settings. In a later demonstration, we'll link the group policy to either a site, a domain, or an organizational unit. Thank you.